Hey, what's going on there everyone? It's Yasuo here. So I just got a quick one for you all today. And here in front of me, um, we're going to take a look at some on-chain charts and some uh, supply distribution for what the uh, wells are doing, okay? So this black line right here is the Bitcoin price, and this is in a US dollar. And this is the one hour resolution. And the blue line right here with the blue area coverage right here, this is indicating the uh, UTXO uh, supply distribution for Bitcoin holders holding between 1,000 to 10,000 BTC. And again, we call these the whales. So what I want to show everyone today is that, you know, I kind of want to highlight this right here, right? In this purple box right here, basically this uh, price range is between, uh, down here is about like 38,000 to like 42,000, right? So this is the price around that. And right when price took a dip right here, what happened with the supply group is that they started accumulating. And one thing to really know about this accumulation is that this is actually 40,000 Bitcoin that the supply has accumulated, okay? And how do I know this is by uh, by this number right here, okay? So currently they have about 4,015,500 Bitcoin, that's this up here. And down here, this is about 30, 3,975,000, okay? That's that, and then the difference between the two of that is roughly, it's a little, actually a little bit over 40,000 Bitcoin, but we're gonna call that 40,000 Bitcoin for this video right here, right? And if you're wondering how much that is in US dollar, that's 1.6 billion, okay? So that, so what I'm trying to say is that, you know, ever since the price has took a dip down here to this price level, the wells have started accumulating again. And the last time was at this level was down here, right? If we look at what's happening down here, this is back in uh, early March, early to mid March, you can see, um, you can see the blue line right here kind of shifting upward, right? That's telling us that they're accumulating. And they're accumulating at pretty much the same level, right? If you look at this right here, about the 38,000 to the 42,000 uh, price level for BTC, you know, they're accumulating. But if we look at this right here, we start seeing a shift downward up here, right? That means they're starting to sell off and then a sharp, a sharp drop means they're selling off, right? And then this right here means uh, they sold, right? It's a large dip right here. So if we look at this right here, if they started selling off up here, that means that they bought down here. They bought at the, you know, basically the, the lows of Bitcoin, the 39,000, 40,000 mark. And then they decided to sell when it, the price, you know, you know when, when they receive like a 10 to 20% return, right? So of course, price went all the way up to 48,000, right? During, um, during the previous run up here, right? And of course, this is the short term. And this run up is, uh, you know, very short lived, but you know, once the price did, we could see uh, the supply distribution of this group here started selling. And then, you know, again, my point is that if we look at this right here, once price hit that, I'm going to delete this, they're accumulating again. So this is something just to uh, keep on your radar. You know, if price does respond to this uh, accumulation happening by whales, just keep, keep it on your mind that, you know, if price does spike, you know, 10 to 20 percent, you know, it's very possible that this group can uh, sell on the market again. So it could potentially tell us, you know, hey, you know, price, it, it, it's basically speculating on, you know, what the future price action might be, right? Something, maybe something that's, that might potentially happen this week or next week, you know, if, if it causes price to move upward, you know, prepare for a sell off by this group, or maybe they might not even sell off at all. You know, we don't know. We, we still have to um, see what happens here. But uh, yeah, I just want to put this on everyone's radar. So uh, that's all I got for today. You know, if you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.